Hey guys, I want to give you a quick update on the sawhorse, one of the most recent projects that I've put together here on the uh, farm homestead. I made myself a sawhorse. I've wanted to do this for the last two or three years and never really been able to get around to to, to actually making a sawhorse. I was introduced to a couple new skills in doing this. And one in particular is the use of dials. And so let me go through this real quick and kind of walk you through what's going on here. Um, the height of the sawhorse is about 38 inches tall. I was looking, trying to go for 36, but it came out to be about 38 um, tall. I'm thinking about right along here, it's about 38 inches high. And I really like that because now when you put your log on top, you got even almost 40 inches tall. It's kind of neat. I like that. So you got 38 inches, 36 inches tall. Then you go across here. The width of that up here, the width of that is about uh, four feet. And my not my thought process of uh, putting uh, making it about four feet wide. I didn't want it much wider than that because you know to to carry it to. to transported and they want to make it heavy and so on and so forth so four feet was kind of a safe place and my, also my thought process if I had an eight eight foot log on there it would balance and set very well on there um, you know you could have two feet on the left and two feet on the other side now listen when I cut my logs well my logs are about 16 inches so you know uh, when an eight foot log you can get about how many cuts would that be about seven cuts at 16 inches so, um, so it's not bad and, um, make short work of what's going on. And when you're trying to do that, I, I don't know, maybe do a little bit more work with uh, 16 inches. If you made it longer, maybe less cutting, but that's my thought process about the, uh, dimensions, how I came up with the dimensions. Um, and, uh, what else? I also, I, I, I engaged in a couple of new techniques, I use dowels in securing the the base frame of that, and that's the X there. I use dowels. Let me just take a quick look at that. Down at the bottom here, there you can see the dowels there are protruding out. There, there is a dowel on this side as well, and then I think the cross members here. There's dowels there, and then if you look up here, just beneath this crossbar here. There's dowels. I use dowels there as well. Let's see here. Let's see if on the other side. Yeah, I use dowels. There. So I didn't do. Uh, let me show you what else I did. Now on this one here, I showed you this one on this side. There you go. Let me flip to the other side. Now on this side, I used the dowel, but I used the wedge to secure it on this side. Had I uh, had an opportunity, had I thought about it in advance or had a do-over, I would put uh, these wedges on both sides and I would have really tightened those dials up. I'm okay with it because what I did too, if you look here, to secure that, I put galvanized nails into there. So I use a couple of techniques. I think uh, if I were to get a chance to do this over, I would think this out a little bit more and secure with more wood and less nails and that sort of things. Now I use nails, dowels, and I also use lag bolts. There's lag bolts here, across here. And then I put some straps on here. Now I put these 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 straps here. These things are really um, gauged that uh, been able to hold 1,200 pounds each. I'm not going to really ratchet anything down to 1,200 pounds here, but that's five, six cents bolts. Then I got a 10 foot strap. So, yeah, tell me what you think. Leave me a comment. Uh, if you have any questions on the dimensions, more details like that, leave me a message. I'll be more than happy to get back and follow up with you. Okay, all right.